The Jehovah's Witnesses teach that Jesus is Michael the Archangel. Most people know that. What most people don't know is that the Seventh-day Adventists also teach the same doctrine. The Seventh-day Adventists, again, they'll give Jesus lip service. Oh, we believe in Jesus. We're saved by Him. But if they believe in a Jesus that is not God, that's just an angel, well, they have another Jesus. They have another gospel. And of course, the SDAs, they like to teach that, you know, Jesus opened the door and now you better keep the Sabbath and eat right or you'll never go to heaven. Ellen White was a, a witch, a satanic person. It was possessed by a devil that, I mean, connected to the secret societies, to the occult. And all of that's kind of hidden and brushed under the rug, if you will. But I want to give you what their teaching is. White was followed by blank, Blanco, Blanco, right? And I have his Bible here. I want you to see this in Jude chapter 1. In verse number 9, the Bible reads, Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. Now here he's saying that Michael... He wasn't even bringing accusation against Lucifer. He just said, in the, in the authority of the name of the Lord, rebuke you. Okay? That's what's being taught in that verse. I want to read for you out of the Clear Word Bible. This is a, what do they call it? A paraphrase. This is a paraphrase. This is printed by a Seventh-day Adventist company. This is read by Seventh-day Adventists. This is quoted in their literature and on their website. It is called the Clear Word Bible. It's queer. <laughs> it's the queer word. That's what I call it. Because there's some pretty strange things inside this Bible. Look down at your Bible as I read out of theirs. In contrast to these ungodly men is the Lord Jesus, also called Michael the Archangel. For he is over the entire angelic host. The Clear Word Bible, the Seventh-day Adventist literature, they quote it, this is wicked heresy. The Seventh-day Adventists that believe that Jesus is Michael the Archangel, they are on their way to hell. They're part of a wicked cult. They believed a lie. They follow, the. I mean, it's part of the Millerite cult. So is the Jehovah's Witness. They, they came out of a camp that predicted the end of the world in 1844. You missed it. You missed it. By a long shot, Seventh-day Adventists that teach that Jesus is just an angel, they don't have salvation. They don't have the Jesus of the Bible. Revelation 1, Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth. He is the first begotten of the dead and they've rejected Him. For unto which of the angels said He at any time, Thou art my Son, this day have I begotten Thee. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. What he's teaching here is Jesus was not an angel. He was better than the angels. There is no angel that's ever called the Son of God, unless you're in a cult, like the JWs or the SDAs. Verse 6, And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he saith, And let all the angels of God worship him. But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. There's no way Jesus could have been an angel. He's the creator that made the angels.